ओके हेलो सर्कुलर सेक्शन विथ आउटर एंड इनर डायमेंशन ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एम एंड फोर्टी एम एम रिस्पेक्टिवली इज यूज एज अ कैंटिलर ऑफ स्पैन वन मीटर टू स्टॉप How much concentrated load can be applied at the free end of the cantilever if the maximum bending stress is not exceed 35 MPa? So first of all, write down the given data. So this one it is cantilever section it is given. One end it is fixed line, other end it is free. Yes. So first of all, draw the cantilever section. At one end it is fixed line, and other end it is free. Okay. This one it is cantilever beam. At one end it is fixed, other end it is free. Okay. So one point load it is acted at at free end. That will be W load. W load, and span it is given. Span it is given how much? It will be one meter. Cantilever span it is given one meter. Cantilever span it is one meter. One meter. Okay. Then section of this beam it is given. Or section of beam it is outer dimension and inner dimension. Okay. Outer dimension and inner dimension. Outer and inner dimension. So this one it is section. So this one it is square section. The so outer dimension it is given. Forty mm. Outer dimension it is forty mm. Forty mm. Sorry, outer dimension it is fifty mm, and the inner dimension it is given forty mm. Inner dimension it is given forty mm. Forty mm, okay. Forty mm. So first of all, write down the given data. I'll write down the given data. So capital B it is given. Outer dimension it is fifty mm. Fifty mm. And inner dimension small b it is given. Small b is equal to this forty mm. Forty mm, okay. Then cantilever span it is given. L is equal to this one meter. L is equal to one meter, okay. Then Calculate the how much concentrated load it will be applied at the free end of the cantilever. If the maximum bending stress, bending stress it is given sigma b max, sigma b max it will be not exit thirty five mpm. Thirty five mpm means it is newton per mm square. Okay. So first of all, calculate the moment of inertia for that. First, we need to calculate the moment of inertia. Okay. So moment of inertia it is I is equal to I is equal to I is equal to B D Q, so B and D it will be same here. B D Q divided by twelve, B D Q divided by twelve, B D Q divided by twelve minus small B D Q divided by twelve minus small B D Q divided by twelve, then minus minus small B into D Q, small B into D Q. Divided by twelve, small B D Q divided by twelve, small B D Q divided by twelve. Okay, so B is equal to D here. Okay, B is equal to D. Okay, because of square section, that is means fifty into fifty, fifty into fifty cube, fifty into fifty cube divided by twelve, fifty into fifty cube divided by twelve. Fifteen to fifty divided by twelve. Then minus minus forty into forty into forty cube divided by twelve. Forty into forty cube divided by twelve. Forty into forty cube divided by twelve. Okay. So B N small B N is capital D to be same. Okay. So that's why to we get I. Is equal to from this relation, I is equal to put fifty to fifty cube divided by twelve minus small fifty into fifty cube divided by twelve. Okay, 
it will be get 307.307.307.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 mm raised to 4 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 then calculate section modulus section modulus for that we know that y is equal to y is equal to this d by 2 that is means b by 2 okay so it will be depth divided by 2 external depth okay it will be take external depth external depth it will be 50 by 2 so that is width which is equal to depth for the square section okay so it is square hello square section that's why it will be b is equal to d it will be 25 mm 25 mm 25 mm so section modulus now we will need to calculate section mod z is equal to i by y z is equal to it is i by y i by y so we called it is z is equal to i by y i by y i by y so is equal to so i it is 307.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by y it is 25. Y it is 25. Y it is 25. 25. So it will be a section model of z is equal to 307.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by divided by 25. It will be get 12,300 mm cube mm cube mm cube okay. so this one it is section modulus the bending stress equation we know that so first of all maximum bending moment it will be calculated maximum bending moment for cantilever beam it will be m max is equal to so maximum bending moment it will be get at fixed end okay so force into perpendicular force into perpendicular distance is one meter so convert it is in mm 12 into 1 into meter to convert mm 10 raised to the power 3 in mm you get kilo newton newton mm okay so now calculate the bending stress equation as per the bending stress equation says that bending stress equation the bending stress equation Bending, bending, stress equation, bending stress equation is equal to, is equal to, you can erase this one, this part is also, bending stress equation is equal to, bending stress equation, bending stress equation, Bending stress equation is equal to it will be m by I, m by i m by i is equal to m by i m by i is equal to sigma b by sigma b y. So this one it is bending stress equation. Sigma B max by Y. Okay. So you can directly write down sigma B max by is equal to M by Z. M by Z. So M by Z. M by Z. M by Z. Okay. M by Z. Put all this value here. It will be get W value. So sigma B max it is 35. 35 is equal to so m it is w into w into 1 into 10 raised to the power 3 in mm divided by divided by divided by divided by so section modulus it will be how much section modulus 1200 300 so it will be get w from this relation we get w from this relation so 12300 into 35 12 
which will be 1 into 10 to the power 3. So it will be get 35 into 12,300 divided by 1 into 10 to the power 3. So it will be get W is equal to 430, 430.5 in Newton. Okay. So W load will be acted at 10 at free end, it will be 430.5 Newton. Okay. So this is your answer.